yeah guys i'm i'm stuck i need your help i don't know what to do i don't know if i should first of all get the bmw keys first and then get the bmw later or get the bmw first and then get the keys so it's kind of confusing the whole thing is like a puzzle Welcome back to the channel, my name is Ben and today I'm excited to let you know that iOS 13.6 is out to all supported devices so if you have a supported device like this iPhone X that I have here you can easily go into your settings and go to your software update and easily update to the latest available public software from Apple and that is iOS 13.6 and if you are facing so many issues when it comes to iOS 13.5.1 this could better be the solution for you so watch this video and I will give you my briefing and my findings as to how my device has been performing when it comes to iOS 13.6 and the good news that is also not end there my seven year old iPhone 5s that you see here is also getting an update iOS 12.4.8 is also out today to the general public so if you have seven year old iPhones like I do and so on you also get to update those devices and keep them safe and secure you know what they say old is gold but apparently on this iphone though i don't see any gold do you see any gold there so i don't, I don't know what they mean by that but anyways this is how ios 13.6 comes in for me on my iphone x so right here is our updated device and what i have to let you know is that if you are coming from a beta and going to the official version this is going to be quite a big update it will come around 3.8 gigs but if you were on 13.5.1 and are updating to 13.6 this is going to come in around 500 to 400 megabytes for you so just keep that in mind as you update and i have already updated this device and if we go into general and then go to the about section you can see that we have the software version there as 13.6 and the build number that comes with this update as you can see there is 17g68 so the build number is going to be the same across all devices that have ios 13.6 irregardless of the version of the device it can be an iphone x it can be an iphone 12 that build number is always going to be the same 17 g68 and then if we scroll down a little bit you can see that the modem firmware that we have here is 3.05.00 now if you are having issues when it comes to cell wi-fi bluetooth airdrop or any form of wireless connection this could be the solution for you as we have a little bit of stability improvement with this update so let's go back to see uh, the storage that i have on this iphone we want to see how much space is being taken up by this update so if we go to the iphone storage it just takes a moment to load and after it has loaded everything if you scroll all the way down you'll be able to see how much this update is taking so for me on my iphone the total system uh, storage that is being taken up here is 6.52 gigs now that's average and it's normal and if we go back to the uh, battery section here you can see that the battery health maximum capacity that i have after updating to this update is 88 percent i did have 88 percent before so no change for me in terms of battery maximum capacity the capacity did not drop or increase so just keep that in mind so this update comes in with quite a number of new features and the first one and major one that we want to mention is this one car key now you can leave your keys at home and unlock and start your car with your iPhone. It's super simple. It uses NFC and you just tap to unlock. And I place my phone on the charging pad and then push to start and apparently the new apple watch can also be used as a car key and the way that works you go into your wallet which is uh this one and you have to add a new wallet and the way you add that is basically by pressing the plus item there that i pressed and it loads up and you can start to input information about your car and as far as this car key is concerned either on the apple watch or on the iphone it's supported by bmw's manufactured after after the 1st of July 2020 so all BMWs manufactured from the start of this 
month and beyond will be able to support this car key function it's something new that came with this update and also it has a hidden battery feature you know when your phone usually goes off or goes flat with this car key feature it has a secretly integrated mode that saves some form of energy or some form of charge for about five hours on the iphone or also on the apple watch so that if your phone was to go flat and you wanted to use it as a car key to be able to go home you can be able to do that even though your phone has been flat for a few hours so that's something good and it's actually for me the major and most interesting feature and unfortunately for me i don't have the new bmw i have the key here as you can see this is my new 2020 bmw car key that i have but yeah the next thing is to get the car now and the next thing that came with this update if you go into uh, settings and then you go to general and then you go to software update you can see that you now have the ability to customize automatic updates so if you click that you can see that you have the ability to automatically download ios update so if you turn that on you'll be able to download the update if ever there is an update that is available on your device and this is turned on it will be able to download that update and keep it in your device or store it in your iphone phone until you want to install it and if you go ahead and input or turn on this install update it will be able to download and install the update overnight when connected to a power source and wi-fi so that's something new that came with this update also if you don't want to automatically download updates and save storage you can turn that off i also keep it off so that i can be able to make videos and show you how my device was before and after the update so for me i just keep it off but just keep in mind that also if you have like jailbroken your device and keep all these on you might actually wake up and find that your jailbreak is no longer working because your device has been updated to the latest version that the jailbreak does not support so that's also something new that came with this update now if you use apple news plus you'll be happy to know that you know we have more features that came with this update for apple news users so there's a paid subscription for apple news plus and you'll be able to get new in terms of audio files and many other features also playback when using carplay you'll be able to hear exclusive uh, news topics and trending topics with the apple news plus so that's something new that came with this update and something that's actually good for those that you use the apple news plus now the next thing that came with this update if you open the health app you can see that if you go to the browse section you have a section here that is new and it says symptoms so if you click that section you can see that you have different symptoms that you can input data so you can see that if you have like a runny nose you can click there and input information on what you are feeling and you can always choose to share this information with your doctor or whomever you wish to disclose this information to and there's quite a number of symptoms you see that you can actually browse through and there's quite a number of symptoms so it's good and if you would like to utilize this uh, new feature it's in the health app also the apple music app here got a little bit of an update so i don't use apple music i use spotify but if you do use apple music you have the ability to share certain portions of a song to social media and also you have relics display within the song if it has lyrics supported or if the relics were added to the song so that's something new those are the main and major features that came with this update now this update also has stability improvements and security updates now speaking of bugs that were fixed with this update if you use this core app a lot and you find that you are in saskatchewan and you make a call sometimes it would appear to come from the us or something like that so if you are experiencing that bug that has now been fixed with this update and also if you are having some form of issues when it comes to syncing with icloud or any sort of wireless transfers let's say for example you want to sync your icloud or your contacts and you find that it's failing from time to time or even airdrop basically that has now been fixed something had to do with some apple cloud servers not working as they are supposed to but yeah that has now been fixed with this update there's wi-fi instability fixes that came with this update so if your device was randomly connecting and disconnecting to wi-fi that has been fixed also if you use certain types of keyboards with your iphone and you find that from time to time those keyboards were not performing 
as they are supposed to that has also been fixed with the stability improvements of ios 13.6 now i did run geekbench scores just to see how this device performs and if we open geekbench 5 there that i use and go to the history section you can see that for cpu this is the score that i had for today and for single core i had 927 and for multi core i had 2471 so you can see that performance wise this device is actually doing okay now initially when i updated to ios 13.6 i was on the gm version i had a low score and as you can see i had for single core 602 and for multi core i had 12 44 so as you can see here it's been improved and it's more stable and if we go to the gpu or graphics performance if you click there and go to the score that i have today after installing this you can see that i have 4065 and if we compare that to the score that i had when i was on the gm version initially you can see that i had 3105 so that's a big jump and a significant jump and what that means is that you know when it comes to graphics and 3d image rendering this device is going to perform like it should so on my iphone x basically i'm not having many issues with this update when it comes to ios 13.6 well i have to mention that when i initially updated to this uh software my device did heat up quite a lot and that affected my performance that's why as you can see the geekbench scores that i compared were quite lower compared to what i have today so that's just something to keep out now when it comes to battery performance if we go into settings and then go to the battery section here you can see that you know my screen on time let's just wait for it to load a little bit yeah you can see that the screen on time that i had in the last 10 days let's say yesterday i had about 10 hours screen on time with two hours eight minutes screen off time and that was basically using the, the whole charge of this phone so it's not too bad and it's okay for me on this iphone x again i do have 88 percent of battery maximum capacity available so yeah i do not expect it to perform like it's brand new but for me for what i'm getting on this iphone x it's quite okay and in my opinion as far as this iphone x is concerned it's better than 13.5.1 now I'm not saying you should update. In fact, I think that if your device was doing okay on 13.5.1, then there's no need to update because you do have to keep in mind that this 13.6 could potentially be the last iOS update that we get for those devices that do not support iOS 14. So if 13.5.1 is doing okay for you, then there's no need to update, you know, it's unless of course you have the new bmw and then for me i i would definitely update but as you can see this could be the last update and if you do update and come with so many bugs and issues there's a different process that you have to take to be able to go back and it's a process so that's my experience so far and yeah we actually might see 13.7 but that is highly unlikely considering the fact that you know apple has released the public beta of ios 14 so it's focusing more on ios 14 instead of 13.7 or 13.6 beta whatever so that's just a brief update that i thought i should give you when it comes to ios 13.6 if you like this video please leave a like and hit subscribe down below and thank you very much for watching and reaching this far into the video stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video peace